We hear the stories all the time. Our children bullied in school, on the playground, in our neighborhoods. Why are some kids just so mean? I was bullied because I was in and out of school a lot and kids didn't know why and it was for cancer. Can you imagine? Well, today we're going to meet a girl who says enough with the bullying already, how she is working to stop it. Another battle that can creep into our school's discrimination. I'm not going really good in school. I get really frustrated. My basketball team, they said, oh, you talk like a white boy. We'll meet a mother who documented the issue of race and class in her own son's life for 13 years, what she learned and how she's now trying to make all sure all kids are part of the American promise. And yet another obstacle that we want our kids to overcome is that temptation to start smoking. But it's not just cigarettes now. The new thing is flavored cigars. You're going to find out why more teens seem to be turning to this dangerous trend. One trend I'd like to continue is stumping you in the Where is Brian guessing game. You have two clues, one guess. Will you get it right? Well, we have to wait and see. And speaking of Brian, did you know Gail King has a connection to his childhood? In a candid interview, Gail reveals who inspired her to get into broadcasting decades ago. She talks about her children and her big dream that she says will never come true. Hmm. And from concerts to the kitchen, former Bad Company bassist Paul Cullen is here to teach us how to make a homemade pasta like the pros. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. Are you tired of the cold yet? I am I got tired, tired of the cold, cold. A long time ago. You're dead. Oh my! It just seems like goodness. we warm up a little bit, and then the cold and the wind just picks right back up. Yeah. Just in case you lost count because I am keeping count, spring is only 42 days away. <gasps> and something else ah. that excites me, you know, daylight savings time, when it stops getting dark at yes. like five o'clock, that's about a month away. So oh, good. there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I guess you could say. As it were. <laughs> As it were. Well, something else that's only eight days away is Valentine's yeah. Day. Get this, looks like Americans are gonna be spending more on Valentine's Day this year than last year. The National Retail Federation did a survey about planned spending for the holiday of love. Turns out 54% of us Americans are going to celebrate with loved ones this year, and the average amount that we'll be spending on candy cards, dinner, and gifts, $133.91. Now, that number is slightly higher than last year's average of $130.97. However, the survey says men plan to spend twice as much as women on gifts alone. It's because we know we better. In total, <laughs> the survey estimates that Americans will spend close to $17.3 billion celebrating love. Now, you want to watch tomorrow because we're going to give you a lesson on buying jewelry. Everything from how to pick a diamond to the popular trends. It can be kind of uh, confusing and it, overwhelming. It can overwhelm you in a hurry. Well, something, somebody else that you may love, Elton John's coming to Easton. Really? No. Oh. Uh, it's almost like Elton, though. Uh, it's, it's Kenny Metcalf. <laughs> Check this guy out. How about that, huh? <laughs> Kenny does a tribute show called Elton the Early Years. As a matter of fact, Elton John's first producer and original lead guitarist has offered some praise for Metcalf. He said, I was amazed at how well he does Elton. Hmm. That's pretty high there. Now, if you're interested, the ultimate Elton John tribute will be at the Stoltz Listening Room of the Avalon Theater tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Tickets, 20 bucks each. You can get more information at 410-822-7299. Wow, that looks like a good show. Neat stuff. Yeah, yeah. Have you got a green thumb? <laughs> no, you, I'm, I'm, it's I'm a little no, purple right now. <laughs> no good at it either. But McIlvaney Early Childhood Center in Magnolia is going to have a new interactive arboretum soon. The McIlvaney, uh, McIlvaney Tree Walk and Talk will have native species on the school campus. They'll have various stations. Each station will include interactive learning activities aimed at kindergartners with assistance from the Delaware Forest Service. They were able to put all this together. How about that? How awesome is that? That is neat. Hey, we want to say happy birthday to... G.I. Joe. Woo you know who G.I. Joe is, don't you guys Oh, yeah, know? yeah, 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 right. The yeah. first ever action figure turns, get this, 50. Hasbro brought it to the <laughs> World's Fair, attention at the World's Fair in uh, New York City in 1964. Now, G.I. Joe has undergone many changes, some the result of shifts in public sentiment for the military-themed right. D doll, I guess, toys. We yeah. don't call them a doll. No. no. G.I. Joe hit the shelves in time for the 1964 Christmas shopping season and soon became a big seller at $4 a piece. 
four bucks. I know, my brother had them. And we are the kings of trivia and queens of trivia, so here's <laughs> what you may not have known. G.I. Joe owes its existence to Barbie. As Lisa hmm. just said, 1963 toy creator Stan West. It was in 63 toy creator Stan West and thought that since Barbie was so popular, he could come up with a line of Barbie-sized dolls with military theme to be marketed for boys. G.I. Joe, though, is the world's first action figure because they thought boys wouldn't play with dolls. So Hasbro coined the words action figure so that they could market G.I. Huh. Joe. And did you know that Joe has a scar across his right cheek? Yeah. That's for a specific reason. Hasbro can then copyright the toys because otherwise the human figure itself cannot be copyrighted. So here's a question for you. Have you ever been driving along, uh -huh. looking for that parking spot, you find one, just want to get there before somebody else takes it? Oh right? yeah. Watch this closely. Look at the left side of your screen. We're driving down the street here. This girl comes up, going over there. No, wait, wait, wait. There's a parking spot right in front of my store oh right there. Oh my Boom. goodness. Now I want you to look at this again, okay? You'll notice she does not make contact with anyone okay oh. misses the first one no 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 no. wait coming oh, back oh my goodness there's the car right in front of you if you were driving this car she misses that one completely there's another one in the far right lane misses that one as well <laughs> and look at this puts the wheels right to the curb thank you very much let's go inside and shop now you know there was a woman driving that car because there's no guy in the world that could have pulled that off <laughs> Wow. Wow. Still ahead on Del Marva Life, we're in the kitchen with a man whose connections with music, wine, and food earned him the title of Renaissance Man. Paul Cullen shows us how to make a delicious, authentic Italian dish. Mm -mm. Many know her as Oprah's best friend, but we see Gail King every weekday morning right here on WBOC as one of the anchors of CBS This Morning. We're going to learn some other interesting tidbits about Gail, including her connection to our very own Brian Spiros. But next, from the playground to the office, even in sports, bullying is everywhere. And unfortunately, the consequences can range from absences from school to even death. Where does it begin? And more importantly, how can we put an end to it? We'll find out. We're also going to meet a young woman who was already in the battle of her life when she became the target of bullies. How she finally said, enough's enough, and took control. Del Marva Life will be right back. Del Marva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Del Marva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 